those three? Welcome back, Pack. Streaker Six here, and I was just flying along, minding my own business, when out of nowhere comes this F-16. I was completely shocked that he missed me in the first place, because normally, of course, <laughs> they take us helicopters out in a hurry. So, what I decided to do is, seeing as I am in this town, I'm going to see if I can't use this to my advantage, and uh, just kind of use the buildings to, you know, disguise myself a little bit. I've done it before in the past, and usually it works. Um, but then again, you know, sometimes uh, they still get a missile in on me or I end up taking my rotor blades out on a tree or a building or something because I'm too busy looking around for them. And right off my nose, the uh, F-16 went by there. We just, I just missed uh, saying that, but so he was still there circling around and I'm kind of busy looking up at the EWR report there, the early warning radar report, uh, seeing where he's at, and he's like 1.6 miles away from the time that that had popped up. Now, normally these jets, they tend to like to hunt us down, well, you know, rightfully so, the helicopters can ca cause a lot of damage on these servers, so... It gets very frustrating for us helicopter pilots. However, it's very understandable why they do it. Um, we always just say it's, you know, for the easy kills or whatever. But quite honestly, I've been flying jets a lot lately just to uh, try and get used to them and maybe, you know, someday be somewhat useful in a jet. Um, not anywhere near it yet, um, but I am getting better. And... Uh, well, let's get back on with this stuff here. So, at this point, I figure, okay, I look up at the EWR. He's about nine miles away, and he's cold. I don't think he's going to come back. But then I think to myself, well, wait a minute. There was that other F-16 coming in hot. Maybe I should turn around and hide for just a little bit longer. Well, uh... I continued to think to myself and right about here I'm like you know what no guts no story the old uh, Hilo Hounds motto I'm gonna beat Cheeks to try and make it to the next town so right here I just I just decide to go for it I end up making it to the next town and uh, right here we skip forward about five, 10 minutes and uh, coming up on my destination, getting pretty close. God dang it, I'm getting locked by an F-16 with the radar again. That's the nice thing about the Gazelle. You can actually, you know, it has the RWR in there, the radar warning receiver for those of you that don't know what that is. Um, so I know he's up here and I, I know his approximate location by looking over at the RWR. So I'm trying to stay low. I'm trying to break his radar and it's just not happening. And right now he's pretty much off my nose pretty soon. If you're on a big enough screen, you'll be able to see his little garbage bag coming at me. It's, it's right directly in front of me and then I break because I see him coming. So now what I'm going to do here again is let's see if we can't play uh, hide and seek again. There he goes right over the top of me. Let's play hide and seek again. Uh, see if I can't get him to just leave me alone. I'm still thinking to myself, I highly doubt he's going to leave me alone. I have a crate on board. It's uh, number two of three that I need to create a fob over here. A forward operating base so that we can pull crates from there instead of having to fly so far uh, we can't rearm or refuel at those fobs but at least we can uh, pull crates from them so that we don't have to fly such a long distance in the event that we don't get killed because it does happen a lot and he's still flying around searching for me and I'm still worried as can be that I'm 
gonna take my rotor off going through all this uh, all these buildings and stuff at this height um, this point thinking to myself again well you know I'm really close to my drop point maybe I should just go for it looking at the RWR or the EWR rather and he's going cold thinking well maybe he did give up I'm not sure if he's given up at this point but I'm really hoping he has and I'm a little bit confused as to where I'm at uh, at this point because all the maneuvering around and stuff so I'd check the map here real quick and uh, see if I was even close and yes I was pretty darn close so I'm heading over there now that I've got enough speed I'm gonna check my map again because it's a little bit easier once you're moving especially when you're using uh, dual joysticks like like myself and fortunately the f-16 did get bored and leave and this is my uh voice attack that i'm using drop crate over and i got her done that's crate number two out of three for the fob uh i do make it back to the uh fob that i the other fob that i had made that i uh am uh getting these crates from and i do get the third one there and i do complete the mission thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time streaker out